J. A. Thomas Wren, The Leader's Companion, Insights on Leadership Through the Ages. Discover the fascinating insights on leadership through the ages in The Leader's Companion by J. Thomas Wren. This collection of wisdom brings together various perspectives on leadership, from renowned philosophers like Aristotle and Plato to writers, activists, and politicians. The book addresses questions related to the roles of both leaders and followers and explores the effects of gender and environment on leadership. It delves into understanding leadership as an interaction rather than a trait and investigates the view that there is a crisis in leadership today. Be prepared to challenge your assumptions and transform yourself as you explore these insightful discussions on one of the most observed yet least understood phenomena in human history. The Elusive Definition of Leadership Leadership is a subject that has fascinated scholars, philosophers, writers, politicians, and activists throughout history. Yet defining leadership seems to be a difficult task, and great minds disagree on its basic tenets. While some view leaders as great men like Napoleon, others label them as history's slaves. Scholars have debated several questions related to leadership, including the role of a leader, the relationship between leaders and followers, and the effects of gender on leadership. Despite these discussions, the craving for compelling and creative leadership remains universal. The controversy surrounding leadership. The lack of effective leadership in today's world has become a growing concern. From international to local levels, the absence of good leaders has made it challenging to solve complex problems such as poverty, drug abuse, terrorism, and environmental decay. While some argue that leaders are born and not made, the real problem may lie in a deep-rooted anxiety about problems that seem unsolvable. The issue of responsible leadership spans from an apparent lack of leaders to an immature need for a powerful authority figure. Leadership is best understood not as a trait, but as an interaction between leaders and followers. Effective leaders possess knowledge about their company, industry, and technical matters. Understanding leadership is essential for achieving goals and improving societies, nations, businesses, and the world. The Power of Citizen Leadership Society's problems may seem insurmountable, but defeatist thinking is not the answer. Without relying solely on great men or women, leadership can emerge at every level. In fact, leadership is often dispersed among millions of people, who shoulder the responsibility of making things right. Citizen leaders, who strive to improve the lives of those who have been left behind, accept this responsibility selflessly. Modern managers and classic philosophers alike have explored leadership creation and what it means to be a great leader. Effective leaders, according to these definitions, achieve common goals that their followers believe are important. They are selfless, yielding, and lack bias. True leaders receive commands and lead by example. These servant leaders, or citizen leaders, continually appear during times of pressing need. It is only with their concerted efforts that society can improve. Traits of Great Leaders Great leaders possess certain traits such as intelligence, confidence, and good communication skills. However, possessing these traits alone does not make one a leader. It is how these traits are used through action that sets leaders apart. Leaders must also possess critical thinking skills to identify forces of change and develop strategies to achieve their goals. Vision and the ability to communicate it is also a common trait among successful CEOs. Women executives lead in a more interactive and sharing manner. The importance of leaders varies depending on location and culture. Lastly, democracy requires citizen leaders who emerge as duty and liberty require. New Leadership Paradigms The 21st century requires a new way of thinking about leadership, one that emphasizes collaboration and participation rather than top-down authority. This new leadership paradigm features the following essential qualities, leaders who motivate rather than command, who take a holistic approach and deal effectively with change. True leaders understand that everyone can lead, and that leadership is about becoming a great communicator, 
making wise trade-offs, and maintaining a balance between long- and short-term goals. In conclusion, The Leader's Companion collects the knowledge of great thinkers from different eras, offering valuable insights into understanding leadership. From recognizing the importance of interaction between the leaders and followers to learning from renowned leaders like citizen leaders or CEOs, the book provides well-rounded observations on leadership dynamics. As Ren explores different themes, like managing change and adapting to new ideas, it becomes apparent that leadership is not a top-down phenomenon but a participatory practice. In today's ever-changing world, it is crucial to learn from the past and adapt to the future while leading others towards achieving common goals. The Leader's Companion offers you the perspectives and knowledge you need to become a successful leader in your community, business, and the world.